Okay, this is a real quick video on how to make a square hat that will appear to have ears, the pussy kitty hat. It looks like this, it's a crochet pattern. Super simple, the eight millimeter hook, and primarily to do it, the six millimeter hook. And it's just some standard yarn, uh, regular weight, this is 4.5 ounce, two colors, because I'm gonna do two strands, or you can do the same color twice. Um, and there's this ribbing on the bottom um, that I'm gonna do in this hat that I'm going to make in one color and the rest of it I'm going to do a multicolor. So I just took one skein, rolled extra ball, bam bam. You're going to need a tape measure. I'm going to measure your head. My head's 22. It's probably a pretty average size head. Um, just the, around the head to figure out your size because we're going to make this as one long and then fold and seam it on the side unlike a lot of other patterns I saw that seam on both sides. Um, I think this is just easier. First thing, you need to get your two strands together, and we're gonna make a chain that's the width we want the whole thing to be. Like I said, 22 inches, measured my head. And the only time you're gonna use the eight millimeter is just to do this initial chain so it doesn't get binded up at the bottom, because otherwise it can get a little tight if you do it with the same size as you're doing it, the rest of it. So, all right, let's chain, and it's probably gonna be around 50 something. I'm gonna chain with my eight millimeter hook. That's 22 inches. All right, I have finished my chain, and it is 54, 54 um, chains. You can just check it, measure it, you can wrap it around your head if you're doing it for yourself, um, or you can look up just head sizes if you wanna get a sense of how big you should make it. And uh, there's that. And you just wanna make sure you have an even number so add one or subtract one based on you want to have. Even Oops. You want to have an even number, just so that uh, when we do the ribbing back and forth, it'll match up on the side. On the side, you'll see when you get there what I'm talking about. So, so pretty much you're done with the eight millimeter. Get your your uh, six millimeter J hook, and you're gonna chain three, one, two, three. And then that's going to be your first cr crochet because we're going to double crochet along this whole way. So that first chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So then go into the next one after your chain three, which is here. Do a double crochet. I'm assuming no double crochet. So, so yarn over, go through, pull through. Double crochet. So basically, you're going to double crochet, in my case, all 54 of these. And then we'll come back to that. I double crocheted in the whole chain, all 54. Whatever number you have, just make sure it's even. Doesn't matter. Checked it. It's a good size. Because um, the hat's going to be folded on the side like this. So you can kind of get a sense of it going all around your head. Um, so we're at the end of the chain. And the next step is we are going to crochet in all these to get it to get a ribbing that's similar to knitting um, you're gonna actually crochet into the around the actual stitches not through the chain like you typically would see um, it's gonna it's not gonna have the stretch the knitting has because crochet is just different it's gonna be thicker though so really warm but so the next step is you're at the end here you are going to be, turn your work and the first thing we're going to do is go around this whole stitch. We're going to go over, under, over, under. So yarn over, we're going to double crochet, and we're going to go around the stitch. So we're basically crocheting on the top of this stitch. A double crochet, so just like you would do a double crochet. And then we went up over it. Now we're going to go from behind so that we are going to go behind the stitch. And yarn over, pull through, two, through the second two. So now we've done a double crochet over and under, and you'll see it as you go. And you just want to make sure that you go back and forth. And that's why we had to do an even number so that at the end you have an under instead of an over. So when you put it together, uh, so now we're going to go from the top. I guess you could think of it going from the top and then from the bottom on the next. Do a double crochet, yarn over, go 
go to the bottom, yarn over, go through the top, and you can see how it's starting to happen. My son's climbing on my back. Um, just keep going, and you want to check as you're going, make sure that you, if you've done made a mistake, you can pull it out before you go too far, because it gets annoying. So we've been over, so we're going to go through the bottom, do a double crochet. There's my son. Go over the top, and you'll see as you do more how you're starting to get this ribbing effect. And I'll see you at the end after you get to the, this row. My son's playing in the background, I want my other son. Um, and you can, um, just the end, the, the last where I started that chain three is the first uh, double crochet. I'm going to go around the back. And so now I've got the whole thing done. And you can see the effect of the ribbing now. Um, all right, so now we've got the whole thing. We did the double crochets all the way to the end. Double crochets through the through the whole post of the stitch. Now, now we're gonna go back and we're just gonna do a regular double crochet through the whole chain at the top. So one, two, three. Flip it over, and this will count as our first double crochet. All right, so we're just gonna double crochet. You want to skip this first, you know, this this um, chain three counts as your first double crochet, so you're going to go in the next spot here and do a double crochet. Kind of like a little confusing, but... So, you should, st you should just end up with the same number. So in my case, I had 54, which ended up being about 21 inches, um, unless you s it stretches easily to 22. But, um, okay, so you're just going to do double crochet in the chain now. So we're going to, not through the post this time, we'll do that when we go back through it. Just double crocheting, real simple, and we'll come back when I get to the end. So we're at the end, we did all the double crochets, 54 in the chain at the top, and we're going to flip it over, and now we're going to again do the um, crochet through the whole post, the whole stitch, like we did the last time. And we're going to wrap, and we're going to go around the top of this first one. Okay. Okay, so just going around the post. This one's over, this one's under. Do this one over, and it'll start to, it'll match up with your first row. You'll see it as you start to do more that it'll match up. From behind, you can kind of see it. I'm going to go over, under, over, under. And check your work as you go just to make sure that you didn't make a mistake. It's easier to pull out a couple stitches than a bunch. For the whole row. You can start to see you'll get like now you'll get the double roll of the ribbing. Okay. I reached the end. I've done the um, crochet, double crocheted in all the posts, and I'm actually going to change color now and get two strands. I'm going to keep one of this dark strand and add this bright pink strand. I'm going to do that really quick. So I'm just going to chain two, one, two, it's actually going to count as my first stitch, the chain two, because I'm going to flip the work, and I'll just crochet them over these tails, just work them in. You could just keep the same color if you <laughs> don't want to go through the bother, but um, so chain two, and that's going to count as my first um, first, do a um, half double crochet is what I'm going to do. You could do singles, you could go full doubles again. I just like the half double because I think it's quick, easy. Uh, so anyway, half doubles are yarn over, 
pull through, and you go through all three. And again, I'm just going to crochet over these tails. We'll just get worked right in, but half doubles go so fast. Yarn over, and we're just going through, we're done with the ribbing, we're just going through the top chain all the way to the end. And come back. Okay, I'm getting to the end. I got my last two half doubles to do. This one's a little funky, but um, we got 54, the same number I should have, and there's one row of half doubles. And I'm just going to do chain two, flip it over, and do the same thing. Half doubles, just keep going back and forth, flipping over until I get to about eight and a half to nine inches tall. And then we're ready for the next step. Okay, here we are. It is just about 22 inches long. Whole thing here. And I went ahead and just did, I did eight inches. That works for me. And you could go a little bit about eight and a quarter inches. Perfect. Eight and a half is fine. I wouldn't go more than nine or it's not going to get the puff out the corners to make it look like ears. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to take the end here and just crochet it together here. I'm just going to go through the full, just the full top chain of this you could sew this with a darning needle like we will decide, but you already got the yarn going and the hook. So I'm just pulling it through. Alright, and I'll come back to this. So I just dish this up to the end, just pull through the top the top chain, and now I'm just gonna Snip this, go through one more, and then later we'll use a darning needle to sew in, work in this. And all we're going to do is get some yarn and sew up the side of this. I'm just going to use one, you could do a double strand, but. I'm just going to do one, and I'm going to keep it as a double, just for strength. Um, and we have to weave in all these tails, but you could, what I could have done, if I was really bright, um, is just leave myself at the beginning some extra and use that to sew with, but I forgot to do that. I'm going to start here, but you can start wherever you want. And just, just sew it. Pretty, pretty simple. Nothing. Just want to make sure to get it, you know, do some good spots. Kind of how you'd stick, do a... back. Okay, I used my dining needle. I weaved in all my tails. Like I said, I could have just left a tail at the very beginning and could have sewed up the side with that. That would have been super smart. But, say la vie. So, turn it inside out. And this is it. All done. You can push out these ears as much as possible. And you could actually do a couple stitches here if you want to to sort of emphasize the ears. You could crochet a little corner in this color maybe and sew it on because your head's going to be here and it's just going to force it to look like ears. And you are done.